Hello Kulas and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing the latest on FC Barcelona as usual, starting with Pablo Gavi, as recent reports are claiming that Liverpool are ready to pay 50 million euros for Barcelona for Gavi. Would that be possible? I very much don't think so. We are going to be discussing much on that as we move ahead. Then to conclude, we are going to be talking about club president Juan Laporta, who have reportedly made his three big wishes for Barcelona this new year 2022. And what are those wishes from the president? We are going to be discussing much on that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. After Pedri in the 2020-21 season, Barcelona have unearthed another gem in the ongoing campaign in the form of Gavi. Gavi, a product of the club's La Masia Academy, has enjoyed a stunning breakthrough season at the Camp Nou, quickly establishing himself as a mainstay in the middle of the park in the senior team. The teenager has also broken into the Spanish national team. Held in the highest of regard at Barca, Gavi is expected to be at the core of the team that Xavi Hernandez is building. However, Barcelona have some concerns with the young midfield maestro's contract situation. Of course, the ex-Real Betis talent's current deal runs out in 2023 and has a release clause of just you know, worth 50 million euros. Barcelona have been pressing hard to hand him a new contract and bump up his release clause amount. As the current value leaves them vulnerable to raids from elite clubs across Europe, who have taken an interest in him. Talks over a new deal have progressed smoothly and everything seems to be in order for an extension that will see his exit um, clause released to 500 million euros. However, with Barcelona being keen on registering Gavi as a first team player, they are waiting on some players to leave so that they can find room on the wage bill. Yusuf Demi's exit is on the verge of being finalized but Barcelona will be registering Ferran Torres in the space left by the Austrian. So they are waiting for Luke the Young's departure to finalize Gavi's contract and make him a senior squad member. Of course, as it iterated earlier, this situation leaves them vulnerable to potential swoops from other clubs, you know, who can deposit the release clause amount at the La Liga headquarters and sign the midfielder sensation. And according to Air Nacional, that is exactly what Liverpool are planning to do. The Reds manager Jurgen Klopp is believed to be a huge admirer of Gavi's talent and wants to bring him to one field. The Merseysiders did not replace Georgino Wijnaldum in the summer, while Thiago Alcantara has struggled with injuries since arriving in 2020. Jordan Henderson and James Mina are not getting any younger, and you know the midfield department will be weakened by Napi Keita's involvement in the African Cup of Nations this month. So, with the transfer window already open in England, the German tactician has you know, urged the club's owners to trigger Gavi's 50 million release clause to bolster their midfield unit. Ivan De La Pena, the agent of Gavi, has informed Barcelona that he is receiving a lot of approaches from clubs for the teenage sensation. So, the sooner Barcelona resolves this situation, the better. Then, on to the next story of discussion. Juan Laporta has not had it easy since he was re-elected as the president of Barcelona in March last year. The 59-year-old had overseen one of the most successful periods in the history of the club during his first tenure, you know, but the difference between then and now could not get any starker. From having to deal with financial issues that have arisen due to coronavirus as well as the mismanagement of funds from the previous board, to the CVC proposal in the summer, the exit of Lionel Messi, the poor results, the change of managers, you know, it has been a hailstorm of issues one after the other, right? As he heads into 2022, Laporta will be hoping for some respite and stability in the coming months as he looks to guide Barcelona back to the top. Sport has now come out, you know, with a report that outlines the Barcelona president's three major wishes for the new year. As per the report, the first wish of Laporta for 2022 is that he hopes to see the world come out of the coronavirus pandemic. He said, I wish that we all defeat the COVID and that normalcy returns as soon as possible, Laporta said. 
you know, Laporta's second wish is to improve the Barcelona team and build a side that fans are proud to support. Given the steady decline in the club's performances in recent times, it is understandable that the president is wishing for a turnaround of fortunes. He said, I would like all the Catalans to be proud of their teams, that they continue to cheer them on as they have been up to now, and that the players who defend us should give us joy. Finally, the club president wishes for work to begin on Espai Barca after members voted in favor of the 1.5 billion project that will see Cam no go through a major revamp, he said. The third wish is that the members and all the fans feel proud of the new Espai Barca in the year and that the Cam no works will begin. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.